everyone welcome to my channel and thanks for watching today's video is going to be my top five under five beauty products basically makeup from the drugstore that i love and it's under five dollars so i wanted to share that with you i love watching this type of video because i love drugstore makeup and if they are under five dollars even better i am going to film maybe later on depends if you guys want me to a part two because i do have a lot of products under five but i can't mention them all in this video because basically it's supposed to be just my five even though even though it's going to be five i'm going this is ten girl five <laughs> i am going to just show you maybe one or more of the same product just different colors so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this type of video let's get started so the first product that i want to mention is by elf and this is called the High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder. And this is $3. You can pick it up, of course, at ELF website, Target, Walmart, CVS, and maybe other places wherever they sell ELF. This is what I use to set my concealer. This powder, even though it's white, it is translucent. It's not going to just get this area and just make it just look very uh white and powdery it's translucent so you have to, no worries when it comes to that it is a matte finish but even though it's a matte finish your under eye area looks so nice and smooth it does not look dry this is what i love about this product it just makes your under eye area look so nice and healthy this is actually what i have on right now to set my concealer and i love this stuff i can't believe it's only three dollars simple colored nail polishes depends on where you purchase them you might get them for 199 but they go up to 299 i think these nail polishes are great i have so many but these right here are mostly my favorite which are this beautiful like like, like color it's called tempest and this is how it looks like this one right here i love it's like a nice dark pink brown if that makes any sense it's like a pink mauve but it's more on the brown side instead of the pink and it's called vacation time and this one right here which i have on my nails right now is called Sela V and yeah these right here like i said 199 up to 299 simple colors have such great selection and i think the quality is pretty good for just a 299 nail polish i have so many i have so many colors but these right here i do grab on mostly these two for the summer and th this one i just love it in general i think this is like my favorite nail polish from simple colors next product is by wet n wild and it's their blushes these are two of my favorite this is supposed to be like a new formula to these if i'm not mistaken but i love pearl lesson pink and this one is my new favorite which is the apricot in the middle it's a beautiful like peach um shade let me swatch it for you guys that is how it looks like and that is how it looks in the pan and this one right here an oldie but a goodie let me swatch it for you this one where is it this one right here is the pearlescent pink now some people do complain about these because they say that it they are powdery and they are right they are powdery i just don't mind that they're only 2.99 the pigmentation is good and they long wearing so hey if they're a little powdery just dust that right out and you're good to go the following is a highlighter by elf this one is the bake highlighter it's called moon what is it moonlight pearls is a beautiful pale champagne color let me swatch it for you look how beautiful that is and it's only three dollars this one right here is extremely popular and it's always sold out online it's so pretty some people say it's a little dry and it does feel a little dry when you uh run your fingers through it it's not very moussey or that nice silky feel 
but the pigmentation is great I think that it, you get more pigmentation with this highlighter with your fingers if you're going to use a brush you should swipe your brush because it doesn't pick up as well when you use a fan brush I don't know why but if you use the fan brush and you wet it with Mac fix plus and you put it on the pigmentation is even better but if none of the brushes that you want to use work just use your fingers all you got to do is tap it on I'm not gonna put it on because I think I have enough highlighting going on you know what let me just try it out for you guys so you guys can see so that's it right there I, it's beautiful it's only three dollars and it's definitely a worth purchasing and last are some lipsticks by wet n wild these are the mega last uh lipsticks my favorite is bear it all is a beautiful brown nude shade give you guys a quick swatch i'm going to swatch four of them that i absolutely love that are my favorite in the whole collection i don't know how many there are but i think i have almost the whole collection this one is called Spiked with Rum. <clears throat> that is how that looks like. The pigmentation on these is wonderful. They could be a little bit dry, but I don't, that doesn't bother me. I just put a little bit of chapstick and I'm good to go. For $1.99, the pigmentation is really, really good. This one is called cherry pickings that's how that one looks like and this one is my absolute favorite I love to use this one in the summer so much pretty persimmons right pretty persimmons if I'm even saying that right I don't even think I'm saying that right and it's a beautiful neon orange oh, look how beautiful that is I think these are so so good like I said the pigmentation is great the only thing I don't like is the packaging for some reason they get so dirty I don't know how this happens but they get so dirty and I really don't like that and then the top some of them um, they crack right here so the packaging kind of sucks but the lipstick is they are beautiful $1.99 the pigmentation are great they do last they could be a little dry like I said but with a little bit of chapstick on top you're good to go so those are my top five I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments any suggestions to maybe products that I should try under five dollars like I said I'm going to do a part two because I do have more products that I couldn't mention because there were supposed to be five even though I mentioned more than five but it was still in the same category, so I hope you guys didn't mind that. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.